Straight up. Um, now you were really open about the PS5. Yeah. So yeah. millions of fucking uh units, millions of consoles. So that means billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Uh the biggest launch. Uh um, the biggest launch ever. Ever. Um there's been God. kids that um my nephew is real disappointed he didn't get one. I got the hook up on mine. But uh But and there's glitches. Mm -hmm. So so there's some There are glitches in them. There are so, glitches. So there's, in them. so there's some defects to this. There are defects in them in the Xbox too. Um but uh, there's been people waiting outside for 36 hours. Um, there's been people that are buying them and then selling them for four times the price, $3,000. They only cost $500 retail. Selling them for 3000 people are buying, selling them. Um, you know, people are losing sleep over this game. Yeah. And you were really open about it. You said anybody over 25 years old should not be playing the PS5. Nah, you're wasting life if it don't bring your money in. Uh it's it's a new drug, right? Uh, man, if you ain't doing business on these, homie, it's a drug. It's a distraction. It don't just distract you. You don't just become a distracted driver. You become a distracted mother. Not just driving. You become a distracted father. You become a distracted student. So when you put this down, you're picking this up. When do you plug into life? And man, just from, from from what I know from playing that motherfucker, man, you might be on that game two, three hours. Just and that's just bullshitting. Don't get into it. <laughs> that's just bullshit, nigga. Don't don't get into it. You fuck around, have a whole day, and you will pause it with the anticipation of picking up tomorrow where you left off. We we'll 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 pause life to play games. That's what we do on that game, homie. We pause our life when in reality we can be utilizing that time and that energy to do something to better ourselves, to better the house. So 25 and older, man, I'm saying, okay, all the science and all the medical data and research says the human brain does not develop until at or around age 25. It should be a light should be coming on, right? Uh no, man, that, 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 not, not saying that, that game will consume us, and it have, and, and, and it have, so we don't create a schedule for it. Yeah, you say uh, kids should go outside and play. Yeah. But my argument with that is, do you see the, the amount of kids who are getting killed outside uh, playing, be in their yard, minding their business, yeah. getting killed? And then you have parents saying, my kids ain't going outside. Uh, I, I, I talked to the mother, and I hate to say this, uh, the 14 year old, uh, I recorded myself saying this uh, on your camera. A 14 year old was sleep on the couch and they shot up the house and he was killed in the house. Uh, the mother of <clears throat> who, son who committed that crime reached out to me and we talked uh, she was reluctant to do it uh very heartfelt our kids are dying in school our kids are dying in the clubs uh our kids are dying period but if we brought our children outside i think less people be less likely to shoot up our communities because the kids are out there it don't make it such an open battlefield Everybody's inside. It's an open battlefield right now. The grass is not green. You don't see no vegetation. It's rocks, it's dirt. Man, it's a third world country. So imagine growing up from five years old to 14 years old, and that's all you see. And the game, the game forces you to detach from, from, from humanity, from humans. So you, you begin living through the game. You begin staying up all night uh, creating a basketball character, giving him the features and the characteristics. You, you, you making this motherfucker and, and you love him and, and, you, and you taking him through the, man, you going on a journey with a fucking cyber guy. You're in a, you, you just, you're in a cyber world now. And motherfucker go to fucking with you about the real world while you plug into that cyber world, 
you're going to lash out in the real world. Man, I'm on a game. Leave me. God damn, man. Shit. You're going to plug back into the cyber world. And, 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 and everybody outside the cyber world is saying, man, what the fuck? If, man, can't nobody come in there and bother while you in that cyber world. Man, I know a father, man, he sit there with that motherfucker black and mouth in his mouth all day long playing that game, and the kid can't enjoy none of that living room. Mama take over the whole goddamn living room. So, man, uh, and just, just seven months ago, homie, uh, just seven months ago, homie, we didn't have food on the shelves in our grocery stores. No, t no toilet paper? Man, we was out of necessities, nigga, just seven yeah. months ago. And it were people that didn't even have shit, nigga. They would have to get food brought to them. And now, all of a sudden, nigga, we in a frenzy over a fucking game all in the same year. Somebody playing on us, my nigga. We <laughs> done. You see, you see how this shit going? Yeah, no, nah, man, something, something, something's <laughs> happening or something ain't right. So, uh, so yeah, that's why I'm saying, no, nah, man, we got to, uh, we can't keep, we can't. Pop culture cannot keep dictating to us. Hip hop culture cannot keep leading us. Pop culture is dictating to us, and hip hop culture leads us. Yeah, and the PS5 is five hundred dollars. You feel like the five hundred dollars should go towards something else? Man, you can start a business. Uh, I think the 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 the, the machine to make T-shirts costs two fifty. You know, you uh mm -hmm. uh five hundred dollars. Uh, man, you can get your lawnmower. Say, boy, go cut your grass now. You know, you can develop, create something yeah. with, with $500. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to steal my dad's lawnmower and make money off of it going door to door, knocking on their door. Yo, you need your yard cut? Yeah. So there is money in that. Yes, sir. But. Your destination is on the left. <laughs> what kind of shit going on? All right. So does your kid have a PS5? No. Or will he be getting one? No, hell no. Uh, he can get the uh, he can get the, the the old Nintendo where you got to blow in the cartridge. He can get that motherfucker, but he ain't bring none of that new technology into the motherfucker house, and that shit costs money. And then he go get hungry. Yeah, he been not asking for nothing. He got to move out. He bring a PlayStation Five now, <laughs> and he can't buy a bunch of Michael Jordan tennis shoes with his paycheck. Mm. Yeah, no, nah, he can't buy no Michael Jordan tennis shoes. You buy you buy no, nah, I ain't buying none of that. So. Does he wear the same like two or three pair, or uh, they just can't be expensive shoes? They can't be expensive shoes. Yeah, man, try to find you some shoes under a hundred dollar. Why all your shoes got to cost over a hundred? Mm. You know, they can be some nice pair of shoes, but if they're not a man, I'm forced to get a, a, an Apple iPhone now. Uh, I'm in Atlanta, and they told me I can't be in no celebrity around no celebrities taking pictures with Android. Oh yeah, you can't have an Android. Yeah, they say, man, you, you gotta have a blue bubble when you texting them and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm finding out. So yeah. I'm feeling, I'm less in cause I ain't no Apple phone, no, you know, so man, I'm like, why? So this shit really, uh. It's a materialistic world. Man, I, man, I'm just coming out the eighties, my nigga. Yo, it's some girls I know that won't fuck with guys who have Androids because you know, when you have Apple, you can see when they read your text messages and you can see when it's sent. There's some girls who won't even date a guy with an Android. It's like this world is so technical on another level. Yeah. Uh I don't I don't want to plug into that. Uh, you know, I don't want to plug into that, homie. Uh I, I see people who this is their life. All day long, they head down on this. And I I'm starting <clears throat> to become that, but now I'm consciously aware. This is what I'm becoming. So uh, I intentionally unplug, man. Throw this, throw the motherfuckers away, man. Get away from them, uh, so I can, so I can get, so I can stay plugged in the real life. Because this is ugly to me, homie. For the most part, I find myself for a while. I had found myself reading the comments, and nigga, if you say something bad about me in the comments, I'm gonna spend, I'm for to say something, and I'm saying, nigga, you getting baited into that world. Nigga, you man, half these motherfuckers making these opinions, nigga, is low life motherfuckers, homie. This and, and you is the highlight of their day for you to respond. And so, uh, but because I'm common and 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 I'm old school mentality, uh, I'm 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 like grandma on this shit, right? I'm vulnerable. But now I'm learning, man. It's some ugly people on side 
uh, of these uh, gadgets, uh, and they got some ugly hearts. And this is they life getting on here, rattling the motherfucker, and, and getting a response out of you to lift their spirits. Mm. Uh, so I'm learning to unplug out of that shit. 